In this video, I'm going over game mode, which gives you a substantial performance increase when using it properly in Linux. So game mode is something that's been around for a bit. Uh, there's a GitHub article, which is actually linked down below, so it's all open source. But basically what it does is it removes all the governors on your CPU to where you can easily go ahead and open up a game and it's going to use your system's full potential. Now, by default, like when you're running wine games and a lot of Steam based games, almost none of them actually use game mode. And I've tried to go ahead and enable it using the set options like the GitHub states. And a lot of times it just simply doesn't launch or even work. However, with the advent of Lutris, which is fantastic, I've gone over in many videos over that, but it has an option or actual system setting that if you launch all your games through Lutris, which why wouldn't you? It's a great repository to host all your non-Steam and Steam games. And it is fantastic for enabling the game mode function. Uh, game mode itself has to enable the system variable which triggers it to go ahead and remove all those governors and give your system the full potential to run wild. So I'm gonna cut over to desktop and show you one, how to install game mode, two, how to actually enable those variables on Lutris if you wanna do it globally for all your games, which I do recommend. However, if you have problems with it or you only want it for a couple select high performance games, I'll show you how to do it independently. And that way you'll actually be able to really take off and just play pretty much any game on Linux when it comes to performance. A lot of the newer games play decent, but they could play a heck of a lot better using game mode. Okay, so to get started in game mode, we need to first install it. You can do this by going sudo apt install game mode if you're on a Debian based distribution like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or KDE Neon. Uh, with this, you'll have actual game mode installed. If you don't have access to this, if you're on Arch, you can install it through the AUR. Or if you want to build it completely on any distribution, you can do it using the GitHub link down below. Now, once you've installed game mode, you need to find the actual file we need to enable it in Lutris. So to do that, type this command. Again, this command is gonna be down in the description so you can copy paste it into your terminal. This will run and kind of show you. The reason why we have to do the find command is I've seen like three or four guides and all of them specify like lib32, lib64. None of them actually had this specific path. So it's chances are this might be in a different location on your PC depending on what version of Linux you're running. That's why I always say, go ahead and do the find command for the specific file just like this. And then we're gonna take this right here and copy it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this in Lutris. Now to enable game mode while you're launching your games, you can do it independently on each game. So let's say I wanted to do it on Anthem. I would go ahead and hit configure, go into system options, and then go ahead and put it directly in here using LD underscore preload for the key. And then typing and pasting in this value that we just had in terminal. But let's say we wanted to just work automatically on all games, so we didn't have to do that. We can do the actual little Lutris thing up in the corner here and go to preferences. Now these are global Lutris system preferences. So we go system options, we can actually put it directly in the system options under Lutris. This means when we play any game, we can actually go ahead and select one and hit play even without the options and see if it's active. Now, the best way to check this is actually by going into here and then typing in the actual game mode D-S. So game mode D-S and you'll see it say active if the file is active or it's actually running. So let's go ahead and launch Anthem because I know it uses the origin launcher and it'd be a quick way to verify that this works. So go ahead and click it, hit play, and then it'll go ahead and launch Origin. Okay, Origin is launched on my other screen here. So let's go ahead and go over to here and type status. And as you see, it's active. And when I quit out of Origin, 
it should go to inactive. Notice it does take about five to 10 seconds when you kill the actual process. You'll see in the back here through the translucent window on my terminal that it went from playing to stopped or it actually went from stop to play. So with that, we should be able to type in this again and now it shows inactive. So it automatically launches game mode for all your wine based games, steam based games, any game you launch through Lutris automatically. So it's really powerful. So that was game mode. I hope that dis demystifies a little bit because this one I had to do a lot of research and honestly, there really wasn't much out there that was really valid for what I was doing. So I thought this would be the perfect video that would help a ton of people, especially for you Linux gamers out there. But let me know in the comments section below, how, do you, how did I do? Is there anything I missed? Was there something that you do that might actually increase the performance? And I'd also like to give a big shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and helping make these videos happen. And I'll see you in the next video.